Welcome to kidsplot.com. Enjoy this story and share with your friends. Let's start the story. 11. Upon a time, in the kingdom of Serenadia, King Edward and Queen Isabella were blessed with a beautiful baby girl named Aurora. With her golden locks and enchanting smile, Aurora brought joy to the entire kingdom. On the day of Aurora's christening, the fairy godmothers bestowed their blessings upon the princess. But before the last fairy could grant her gift, the wicked fairy Maleficent appeared, injured by her exclusion. In her wrath, Maleficent cursed Aurora, proclaiming that the princess would prick her finger on a spindle and fall into an eternal slumber. Determinet. To protect Aurora, the three remaining fairy godmothers, Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether, used their magic to alter Maleficent's curse. Instead of dying, Aurora would fall into a deep slumber until true love's kiss could awaken her. They whisked Aurora away to a hidden cottage deep in the forest, where she would be safe from harm. Renamed Briar Rose, Aurora grew up in the cottage, unaware of her true identity. Surrounded by the love of the forest creatures, she spent her days singing and exploring the wonders of nature, shielded from the dangers of the outside world. During one of her forest adventures, Brian Rose stumbled upon a handsome prince named Philip. The two instantly formed a connection, unaware of each other's true identities. They promised to meet again, hoping to kindle their blossoming romance. Maleficent, fueled by her desire for revenge, discovered Aurora's whereabouts. She sent her loyal raven, Diablo, to keep an eye on the princess, ensuring her course would inevitably take effect. As Aurora's 16th birthday approached, the fairy godmothers revealed her true identity as the princess and the tragic fate that awaited her. Determined to protect Aurora, they devised a plan to reunite her with her true love, Prince Philip, and break Maleficent's course. At the stroke of midnight on her 16th birthday, Aurora pricked her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel, succumbing to the course. Prince Philip, guided by the magical forces of the fairy godmothers, fought his way through Maleficent's treacherous lair and awakened Aurora with true love's kiss. Aurora and Prince Philip returned to the kingdom of Serenadia, where they were joyfully welcomed by King Edward and Queen Isabella. The course had been broken, and Aurora's enchanting presence brought peace and prosperity to the land. They lived happily ever. After, a testament to the power of love and the triumph over darkness. The end.